the Duke of Edinburgh have uh, done a circuit uh, around Buckingham Palace. And we think now the Queen is about to light the beacon. They have arrived at a podium, but we're now not looking, of course, at the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh. We're looking at these are children who are carrying, well, flowers, I suppose, that they've that they carried in a procession down from Buckingham Palace. And the Queen and the Duke are preparing, we think, to mount those steps and flick the switch that will light the beacon that will trigger these 1,800 beacons, is it, around the country? Yeah, yeah. To celebrate the Queen's Jubilee. And then the concert and the beacon lighting uh, will, the, the climax will be this huge fireworks display in which we understand that they're going to have a cascade waterfall effect off, uh, off the roof of Buckingham Palace. It will be absolutely spectacular. It, it, we were looking at some live, at some live wide pictures before of the crowd and the lighting effects in the palace, which looks spectacular even without the fireworks. Yeah. So you can imagine what's going to look like. And the Queen and the Duke only did this this little circuit mm. just round in front of the palace before the thousands upon thousands of people, and she really looked like she was having she was chuffed. She was beaming, wasn't she? Yeah. I mean, you would imagine this is a woman who has spent her whole life dealing with public adulation. But she genuinely looked, the smile on her face was, was, was genuine. Now we're not sure how long it's going to be before <laughs> Her Majesty actually climbs the, the five or six stairs to the, to the podium to throw this switch. Obviously she's talking to people who are involved with the beacon lighting process. We know where the beacon is. Is that the one on Buckingham Palace? I'm not sure, Griggs. All I know is, light a beacon it, outside the palace, and then the evening ends with this huge fireworks display. Listen to the squealing. Yeah. This is, this is Her Majesty the Queen of England they're squealing for, not a rock star. Yeah. It's amazing, isn't it? Look at... Look. Perhaps that's where the beacon is. Yeah, look at London. Well, we're getting a message that we should throw to a break, but oh. I'd hate to miss the lighting well, of the beacon. To... What do we do? Do we wait for the lighting? Might take her a minute to get up the stairs. Oh, no, here oh, she goes. No. Let's just let's just hold for a couple Will more seconds. Will we make a unilateral decision here? And... I think we should wait. I'd hate to miss this. <laughs> well, there it is. Who designed this? I bet there was a public design Probably competition was. too. And Her Majesty has taken the torch, mm. and you just have to do set it. There to the we wick. go. Hope they turned the gas on. <laughs> Is that it? I've got a bunch of Stand comedians back. in my earpiece. <laughs> This is not a fizzer. <laughs> All right, okay. Where is this beacon? Is it in the box? Let's play. Guess where the beacon is. We're just wondering, incidentally, <laughs> with this massive firework. There it goes. <laughs> and Her Majesty is enveloped in smoke. <laughs> oh, that's spectacular. That is a fine example of a beacon, I would have to say. I wonder whether the fireworks display has been uh, organised by one of the Australian pyrotechnic companies, because they have a... Worldwide reputation, world, yeah. yeah. The photos and the other family who, who look after, well, Sydney's mm. New Year's Eve celebrations pretty much every year. Okay, well, with those spectacular pictures from London just out front of the, the of Buckingham Palace and crowds of about 200,000 people, what do you think, Rims? Shall we go to a break? Oh, look! Yes, we'll have to go to a break now. I like fireworks. I'm a sucker there's, for well, fireworks. There, there you are. There's That's the Buckingham display Palace. off Buckingham Palace. And I can hear someone singing Rock Around the Clock, <laughs> the old Bill Haley song. Look at that. And on that note, we really probably should take a break. All right. We'll leave you with those live pictures of London and across New Zealand. Back in a moment.
take you back live to London for the uh, final stages of a 14-minute firework display from a top Buckingham Palace in the British capital, which really brings to an end, Grimm's day three of the Golden Jubilee celebrations. The fireworks have been absolutely spectacular and when you cross to a, a wide shot and you look at how they're changing the lighting effects on the palace as well, and there seem to be murals. We're, we're trying to figure it out because we don't get a close enough shot, but it would appear that the palace has been draped in murals. Yeah, and I, still, I, I don't think we've yet seen the, the waterfall, this enormous great waterfall effect along the back wall of the palace. Is yeah, that going I, to be the finish? I think, think that's the climax to the 14 minute firework display. I mean, we've had the three-hour pop concert and we've uh, seen the Queen launch that rocket down the Mall to set alight the, uh, the final one in a chain of Jubilee beacons. <laughs> Philip's enjoying anyway, himself. Now, there's an aerial view. I think they're getting their money's worth from the fireworks I display, so. don't you? I would like to know how often Buckingham Palace has ever had been the scene of a fireworks display like this. I, I'm, I'm not sure there has ever Almost been Almost never, yeah. you'd think. Because a couple of days ago they had a small fireworks display that well, they'd rather have done without. Yeah. And at one stage they were suggesting that that may impede the, uh, the pop concert. I don't think but it, it has. Hasn't. now, Trace, that say more than a million people have gathered around Buckingham Palace to, uh, to listen to the pop concert and now watch the fireworks display. This is what we were talking about earlier, that we thought from the wide shot might have been murals, but you can see now it's actually a light show that seems to be, they seem to be carriages moving across the front of Buckingham Palace. It's fantastic. The lighting is amazing. Yeah, there's some of the crowd. <laughs> Do you think that Her Majesty chose the musical score? <laughs> I very much doubt it. I think she's somewhat overawed by the whole thing. Oh, look, it, it must be hard to enjoy something like this when you're stuck up there on the podium and the whole world's watching you. 200 million people are watching this. Not bad, is it? All right. We'll uh, go to another commercial break on the Today program with more of these live pictures coming to you from London, the culmination of the Golden Jubilee celebrations in the British capital. news and weather for you in about three minutes from now but we thought uh, just to take us up to our next commercial break we go back to London there's the camera panning along the crowds over a million people in London for this uh, day and evening of golden jubilee celebrations smiles on everybody's faces including uh, those of the guests of honor yeah now here's Queen. more of the fireworks display from uh, from the roof of Buckingham Palace the fireworks and the light show we're just hoping the timing hasn't been bad so far, friends. But we might see the uh, the waterfall cascading effect. I am thinking that they're probably saving the best till last. Well, they say that that's going to be the climax of a fireworks display that was supposed to last 14 minutes. 
That must have gone longer, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, I love this lighting effect on the front of the palace. Not bad, is it? I guess it's a similar effect to that that they used on the sails of the Sydney Opera House. Yep. Oh, we've seen it all before. It's just amazing to yeah. see. I mean, we've seen the technology before, but it's amazing to see it on the front of Buckingham Palace, isn't it? I think the Queen's getting a little bored now, seeing, <laughs> seeing fireworks, you see fireworks. I sort of, gosh, that looks incredible. Doesn't it? Um, I sort of get the impression that Prince Philip is more the pyrotechnic buff than, than her magic. Yeah, I think she might be thinking... It's obviously been had a, cup of tea. A, a great day for her. I mean, those scenes of her driving round the, uh, the circle in front of the... Mm. in front of the palace before she actually lit the beacon or the torch. She really looked radiant, didn't mm. she? Oh, is this the cascade? This could be the cascade. Let's cut to the wide shot. We can't cut to the wide shot. We're in the lap of the BBC. There we go. Probably the first and last time we'll ever see this on and at Buckingham Palace in London. Oh, she's liking that. That's not bad, is it? Oh, I do like a cracker. <laughs> <laughs> well, with impeccable timing, we've brought it all to you. <laughs> and there's the aerial view of London as we go to a commercial break. This is today around Australia and across New Zealand. But the celebrations are all but over now. In fact, uh, the Queen and the Duke have now climbed back into their... I think that's the new limo, Trace. The plum-coloured... Is it a Rolls or a Bentley? Either way, it's I'm, a new car. I'm, I'm not good on my Rolls and Bentley... Um, well, it's the new royal vehicle. Features. And I presume they're now driving back to the palace at the end of uh, the fireworks, the beacon lighting, the pop concert inside Buckingham Palace. And it's all over. They'll have a little nightclub going inside the palace. I thought you were going to say they'll have a little nightcap. <laughs> I'm sure. They'll probably do that too. I'm sure too. that's more likely, yeah. yeah. All right, time for the news. All right, here's Sharon.